Good morning! So today is one of the last days of autumn in the UK. It's not anything official, but I feel like after this week, a windstorm's gonna come along and all the leaves are gonna be on the ground. So me and my friend Ali are going to a random forest a little bit east of Brighton, and I guess we should go board a train. I want to take a lot of photos. Let's go! This is the most useless escalator in all of London. One, two, three, I'm done. <laughs> So we now got to Brighton, and the sky has definitely brightened up. I thought it was going to be cloudy all day, but friends out. The ceiling in the car park in the Brighton shopping center is ridiculously low on the stairs. Look at my head right now. This is where I'm walking. This is not... <laughs> Maximum height. Six foot four. Us. I am six foot two. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day in Brighton that I kind of feel a little bit bad that we're leaving the sunny shores here to go to the forest. Look at that. Wow. So Google Maps is taking our taxi down the best route. Um, what? <laughs> this is the most narrow, woody path. We got our Brighton cab. There he is. He took us down a dirt road in the middle of the forest. This is uh, definitely the furthest he's been. I definitely take cabs the furthest they've been. I remember when I went to Malibu and the cab driver, I was like, what's the furthest you've been? And he went, Malibu. <laughs> Ali, hold on, hold on. Cyclist crossing, watch out, they're coming. Just gotta take your time. <laughs> <laughs> There's cyclists, they're crossing. They're, they're just running across the natural cyclists that are in this forest. You know, when I went to Wendover Woods, everything was downhill. And here, everything is uphill. I think we'll be down there once we get to the top. Yeah, we're trying to get to the top right now. Really beautiful, I love the fact there's leaves all over the floor. The ground. Words. The mountain bikers in this trail have set up sick jumps. Look at that. Sick, 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 sick jumps, brah. We tried to find our way to the coast, but it turns out there's just a whole lot of sheep and barbed wire and the roads. This is not what I expected. Hey, what's the difference between ram and a sheep? A ram is a male, a ewe is a female. You know, I didn't see gender like that, Evan. So somehow we have left the forest onto a farmland towards what looks like a beautiful ombre sunset over the ocean. So I've never been to the White Cliffs of Dover, but it looks a little bit similar to what I imagine the White Cliffs of Dover look like. If you've ever been there, you can tell me. It's really beautiful. I've never seen such like sheer cliffs before in America. Every beach in New Jersey is kind of like just sand. But wow, I really hope we can get down to the beach. Oh, Never. is this a cliff? Oh my. It just ends. It just ends. Well, here we, oh my oh, god. No, there is just a sheer drop. Oh lord. Whoa. Just kidding. How's it going over there, Allie? Yeah, Don't fall off. Okay, this is so high up, like it's genuinely slightly terrifying because I just feel like at any moment this could just dislodge and everyone's just falling that far down. But check out that sunset. Frick, that's so beautiful. So we just finished taking pictures and then Evan noticed that this one has a rather large crack. And I'm gonna die, I'm gonna ironically die. Rather large crack and we could have been standing on that. We're very lucky. Oh my god puppies. Oh my god puppies. Oh hello. Hello. Oh okay. <laughs> Want to it. play fetch, yeah? Throw it. Yeah. Uh, great throw. <laughs> So as soon as the sun dropped, the weather has completely frozen up. I'm freezing. And there's little, little foggy little clouds in the valley there, which is really pretty. I haven't seen that in a really long time. This really reminds me of Great Ocean Road, if you recall, 
the vlog from Australia. That's how pretty these cliffs are in the sunset. But now we're hopefully gonna get back to the cab before it gets too dark, because we're gonna have to like climb over fences and stuff. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> we've only been walking for about five minutes, but we've come up against an army of sheep. I think that's what they're called. What are they called? Flock of sheep. How did I not know that? Flock of sheep. And we're gonna try and not disturb them. <sighs> oh, you. So we called our cab from Eastbourne. We're gonna be getting that hopefully in 15 minutes from a random intersection. The woman had a slight problem. She was like, we can't just pick you up from a random intersection. So luckily we had Google Maps tell us the postcode. Hi, sheep. Big fans. Anyway, uh, then I guess we're going to Brighton to get some food with Connie. Thank you for the light. You're welcome. Allie and I made a very good friend with our taxi driver. <laughs> we ended up taking him all the way to our friend Connie's house. Look at that view. Wow. Reminds me of LA. We are in the LA of the UK. Now it's time for Connie. We're gonna get food, but I have to upload my video on my laptop's dead, so. <sighs> it, I always end up doing that in these videos. It's always like, oh, gotta upload a video. <laughs> it took ages. Hi, give me a hug. Oh, hello. I uploaded the video. Everything's great. Thanks for letting me use your internet, Connie. Now we're gonna get Wagamamas? Yes! Wagamamas! You are yeah. so smart! Thank you, thank you. If you just call my name, I got the classic thing you get when you go to Wagamama's, just a chicken katsu curry. If you saw the video I just uploaded today, obviously, wasn't lying, always make sure to clean my plate. Every time. Nothing there. Connie, though, what's going on there? Uh huh. Bye, Zoella. I almost said Zoella. Bye, Noodle Relly in a hat. So I just checked my bag when I got on the train and it turns out I didn't bring my laptop. I don't know where it is. I think it's at Connie's house. So I just left Allie on the train. Oh, uh, this might be a disaster. I'm actually having a freak out. Maybe someone stole it from my backpack. Sometimes I don't zip it up all the way. That's one of my big hobbies. So I hope it's at your house, Connie. Uh, I have to miss this train. I really hope I can get another one and don't have to get a bus again. So I've now gotten into Connie's house. Ow! Oh, and I have my head on the ceiling. Oh no. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Oh my god, yes. My laptop. <sighs> it's gonna be a good day. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. I backed up all my footage, but I still was freaking out because it's so expensive. Oh, thank god. And now my head hurts from your stinking ceiling. This house is not meant for people of my height. So relieved, so relieved to have my laptop back. Like. Oh my gosh, just the feelings of what am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, that's the worst thing that could have happened. How did someone take that? I'm so glad. I just, just, I'm a bit absent-minded. I haven't left my laptop anywhere in so long, and it was just kind of a little frightening thing where I really need to make sure I have everything. At least I have my, lap, my like, wallet and my phone and my keys. Those are like the three usual things, and a passport. <sighs> it's all good. It's time to go to the train station. After yet another mile extra to my hike, I've now made it to Brighton Station. I'm finally back in London. The air definitely doesn't smell quite as sweet as it does out in the countryside, but now I guess I just gotta get a bus, and then I'm heading back to Dover Flat. Ah, and I finally arrived back home in Dover Flat, which is nice and clean. That's lovely. Mom. Thank you, Dirty Zom, for cleaning Dovenblatt. <laughs> what a great person you are. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my autumn vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool, so I found the castle. It's all the way up on that hill over there, so it's going to take me quite a while to climb it. <laughs>